Hello everyone, welcome back to your brand new section. Um, not brand new, it's kind of an old but still a continuation of the data weave concepts. Okay, now as you know that you can, as you can see the screen that there are a lot of things that we had covered in our previous discussion. Now in this video, we are going to get a continuation of that. And I told that we are going to talk about very important topics like map, map object, filter, filter object, pluck and many more of that. See this, this data weave is quite important because this is most commonly used in all the wheels of journey. <coughs> now let's do that. So the first data weave that I'm going to talk about today is not today in this video is map and map object. Okay. So let's uh, create it drag and drop here <coughs> and uh, just waiting for it. Okay. There you go map and map object drag and drop the transform as again i am not using the uh, data view playground i have told this before because i thought initially using it but because i can export this and give it to you guys as a part of learning curvature okay so uh, preview and then now let's start json now what is that we have to do we have let's create one example okay i'm going to create an example and show you to you guys and this name i'm going to give it as map not map object just map map zero one that's enough okay <coughs> the example that i'm going to create is an array you know that i like to take student example a lot a student uh, array list and here it's an array okay and within that you have an object array of objects we have gone through this yeah and the one that i've created is a variable that also we have gone through it so just let me add it over here now you can see it's getting reflected now i'm going to add a few details called student id which is 01 comma student name <coughs> student name Okay, and I'll say Manju, comma, and then I'm going to create student, uh, what else? Okay, yeah, so I'll give it as one. It's a reason to it as an error. Zero one becomes a string, okay? So you can do something like this, say zero one as number, but uh, that again, uh, it's not the right way. We will, we'll, we'll talk about casting of that okay uh, we so student location and i'll say india okay cool that's enough guys that's more than enough i'm gonna copy paste that as it is and here it is two and student id would be three and i'll say uh, mohan and this is usa and rajiv this would be UK. Okay, cool. Now, when you have, when you encounter a scenario like this, when there's an array, okay, I hate this uh, dark colored, when there's an array and an array of objects and you need to loop over of them, you need to loop over the array of objects. Okay, and that scenario, you bring up map. Okay, it's like you're trying to array of objects and you need to iterate over the object. So this is this is one object. Okay, this is one object. Come on. We'll say object one. This is object two and this is object three. O1, O2 and A3. Object and you need to iterate over an array of objects. And that case you need to bring map. I'll say see here, all I have do all I'm going to do is this uh, array list map okay map you know the infix and suffix notation infix and suffix notation you, re you remember this right we have gone through that as well in the data weave you can add before or after so yeah we're using that so let's click on this map and see what it has to say function map <coughs> see map it takes an array an array and there's a mapper function okay in the mapper function you have item and index see you have item and index 
and if you see the output is also an array so it takes array as an input and outputs array as well so what are the in the map there are two parameters it will take one is an array and the other one is a mapper function array is nothing but this yeah mapper it takes another two more value which is item and index so just make a note of it simple cool <coughs> let's go back and now let's click on the preview and so now you have map okay now you know it takes an array so which we have anyways given over here okay and if i just start with this like this okay now you can see it start to build the array now you can ask the question manju you have taken array see remember this map it's an array and then mapper function you can add like this as well or the infix and suffix notation i took this array outside and kept it over here that's it array map and then i can use that mapper function so i'm not using mapper function at this stage and i'm using the anonymous function map map is a function so a function without a name so i'm using the anonymous function and here see the moment i i told red we'll talk about dollar and dollar but before that if i just say um see observe this the moment once i add map it created an array and it created the number of objects that are available over here now it's saying that boss i'm ready to iterate the entire array i'll just say all i'm going to say is that let's see what happens if i say student id is equal to how do i get this say i can say student array list dot dot student id now see that's that's a messed up thing what has happened let's see what actually has happened <coughs> understand how to work this out the i created a key and hence you got this key remember we are in json which means everything is a key value pair so i created a key that key got replicated and i am saying that student array list dot student id which means from here get the student id and that's the reason it's showing as like this 1 2 3 1 2 3 1 2 3 everywhere ideally the problem is that it's showing in everywhere and if i add like something like this say student id and student name um student name control n student name now see this is really a messed up value now if you can see what is happening as i said first the mapper function the output it outputs an array and it is there are totally three objects 1 2 3 correct so it creates three objects 1 2 and 3 it created three objects now it's saying that you it's map is saying iterate over the array okay it took the first object in the first object it's trying to output this student id in student name so hence here student id is student name it is outputting here and again student id in student name it's outputting over here now uh, this is this again outputting over here now this is this we don't want okay now uh, we don't really want to have like this okay <coughs> now <coughs> now let me do one more thing okay what if i do something like okay um okay just a moment i'll okay now just see this oops okay i didn't uh, wrong thing hmm. okay cool see here all i did is this time is that i added a dollar sign dollar represent the current object which means if i say dollar dollar represents the current object which means that the moment when i say map and then i'll say dollar it means that okay it will understand that okay now you are trying to iterate over array iterate over array and select the current object which means first go here and then extract the id 
dot student id then you are done next travel to the next object extract the id see next travel to the next object then extract the id so dollar represents the current object now i can do the same thing for student name as well see student name dollar see if i just leave dollar that's another thing again see if i just leave dollar see the observation guys see if i just leave dollar again this creates a key see it created a key and then it is saying the current object see one is a current object see can you just see this guys if i just say dollar and this will not work i'm sorry if i just say dollar like this that's it now can you see this it created a key it created a key yeah this is a value current object see for one see current object it is pointing to current object two it is pointing to current object three it is pointing to current object awesome right now you know now here you want to extract dot the student id so dot student id see student id comma then i'll say student uh, name dot dot student name next student location i'll say dot dot student location now you can see perfect now i'll tell you you can play around with this i'll say i can concatenate student id and student name together see here i'll take this and i'll say plus plus space plus plus and i'll remove this guy okay so i'll remove the last name okay now see one manju i can append that okay so i'll with underscore see one underscore manju one under two underscore mohan three underscore rajiv okay how cool is that so that's how you perform an uh, <coughs> loop over the array list now now this is anonymous function now when you pass a parameters like this now i said there was another mapper function right mapper takes two values remember item and index now if i say item comma index comma index now if i say item comma index now this is an anonymous function with arguments at that moment you need to bring our arrow guy arrow function remember arrow function okay first you have a function you remember that you have you have a method you have a function with a function name function arguments then you remove if you remove the method name and if you remove the method name then you need to save it in a particular variable and then you need to add an arrow function we have we have gone through that remember if if, if not you have forgot go through it please again if you have function and function name is add you have int a int a comma int b and you are saying that you need to perform c is equal to a plus b yeah then what we said we remove this function then you save it in a variable called s yes. okay then you don't even need this guy yeah and we said that get an arrow function like this and You remember this we have we have seen this and if you don't even want to give the name remove the name itself now that becomes anonymous see what difference does it make here see here same as this okay now now there is an error the moment once you prefer item and index there is an error it says that unable to resolve dollar see unable which because you have added item which means you need to tell that you are iterating over an item now it perfectly works now if you provide item comma index which means that you need to tell them that you are iterating over the item and index okay so let me copy this and comment it so that you know you can use as a reference okay item comma index let me remove this item and index and then i'll remove this arrow function and then i will use dollar 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 now we saw dollar which is represent the current object what about dollar dollar 
okay see dollar dollar is um, it represents a index okay see item represents the dollar in index represents the dollar dollar okay so if i say uh, student name student location plus plus see this now plus plus dollar dollar see this 0 1 and 2 index can you see this or else i can all i can do is that i can say index see index of dollar dollar comma see here 0 1 2 yeah just so what I, what did you understand item means dollar index means dollar dollar now there's another cool thing okay let me copy this and comment it out and i'll show you one more cool thing what if i just say something like this dollar 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 now this will not work because you need to wrap it across now see this see what did you understand it created a key see key zero one two key and then the current object this entire thing represents the current object see okay <coughs> now that is map that there is another functions as well i uh, will give another some small example and we can wrap the map part of it because again we will we'll cover all these things in future okay we, we have data view is so lengthy it's, it's not that easy to cover at one instance okay so it's a map to and here what i'm going to do i'm going to take another example let me remove all of this garbage and i'll say output this let me take one small example mm, i'm just thinking okay let's do this i'll say array let's create an array cool and here i'll say manju mohan as usual that we have seen and rajiv okay so you have an array now i can loop over this it's an array okay map if i just say map dollar no that's uh, that's that is what we don't want we say item comma index we'll say item comma index okay and then arrow function Ta-da! see you're ready an array of objects now here I can say, um, I'll say index, I'll say index, and then say the value, not the value, I'm sorry, the item. See here, 0, 1, 2. See, Mohan, Rajiv. Yeah, so if I say index plus 1, see. It got incremented index one two three see item plus one it will just concatenate not like this i kind of you have to say plus 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 so then you can add a little bit of space here plus plus uh, space um, something i've done wrong okay plus plus i think i have to add a space over here okay that's fine but you guys got the point uh, so this is a garbage one but anyway so you guys got the point that see item comment now if i remove item and index both then you know that it's a you don't even need arrow function then index is is nothing but your dollar dollar item is nothing but your dollar it's the same same thing right it's the same output okay now can i remove this flower brackets well see you can see seems you can now if i say plus plus two see it's incrementing now that's how you work around with the <coughs> map now let's talk about the <coughs> map object okay i thought i would have could have covered in 10 minutes but unfortunately i think it's uh, uh, crossing our limitation but that's okay um the more we know it's good for us okay next map object now map means iterating on array of object map object means iterating over an object iterating over object itself i mean it okay map object zero one let me get this guy over down below here come on get out get out ah such a pain 
okay i'll get this guy below here and i'll say map object map object okay and i have to give it as 0 1 now as usual preview json Ta let's do it and here in our case let's actually create an example okay iterating over an object okay so i'll create an object i'll say key one value one comma key two value two value two okay and here i'm going to give it as map object see it let's click on this and understand <coughs> map object um it takes object as an input flower brackets and it takes a key value pair we have used it right now see object which takes key value pair key value we have taken that key one value one key two value two correct and then it uses a mapper function see helper function that enables map object to work with null value this is fine it's a mapper function mapper function takes value key index and see it returns object see it returns object output is an object okay so input is an object output is an object in in, in but in map input is an array output is also an array so now you can iterate over the objects so let's go back for module click on this value and what i'm going to do this i don't need it neither i don't need another brackets I'll just say like this ready see it's populating at the right panel of the screen see here it's getting ready now the first thing that i'm going to do is index as usual index okay and then i'm going to create like this now now if you see 0 and 1 perfect now if i add another value see key 2 key 3 value 3 value 3 see 3 index is ready so index 0 1 2 now we are populate ready to populate the value let's populate the value um, uh, value We'll just say value wrap it across wrap it across value ready and then i'm going to use that key that's it see here value value one value two value three this value is nothing but this guy see key is nothing but this guy remember this key value key value pair map object it's saying key value and index that's it because you are trying to iterate over a key value you are iterating over a key value you are iterating over a key value remember that now obviously i can increment it if i want say plus plus one plus 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 one see just added this one value i'm going to give them some space see one 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 i can in, in index the value plus two see two three four now now you know iterating over an object is called as a map object iterating or array is called as a map okay now can i do one thing now how you have dollar 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 in the previous one right so i'll remove index okay there should be also a similar way right even here also you should have dollar 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 so how can i bring that up um index okay i'll remove everything here index i'll re in replace index with dollar 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 okay and then value uh, with the dollar dollar and key with the dollar let's see what is the output of it i may be wrong just want to see the output okay so now guys there is something wrong that i have done let us figure it out okay let us see okay now see uh, dollar 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 represents the index see dollar 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 represents the index 0 1 2 dollar dollar represents the key see 
dollar dollar represents the key dollar represents the value dollar represents the value dollar dollar represents the key dollar 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 represents the index now i can switch it across i'll just say dollar here and i can say dollar dollar see just got shifted now that's something you should be aware and proud of okay <sighs> now <coughs> that is how you work with the map object and that's how you work with the map as well um with this basic introduction now you can work on map and map objects okay now you can see and and the funny part i'll tell you now say if you have an array and you have an object okay now you apply a map function here correct the map function gets applied to the object array of objects now when it iterates over the object you, here you can apply even map object so it's uh, something like this um, if i have to put it across it's like a map and within that you kind of apply map object okay you can apply that a map object now all these things it's kind of you have to devise a right set of examples to work it out and that is what we will cover up eventually as we progress in the further parts of the data we see that it, we have to understand the concepts now see now you understood lambda now you know map and map object scope you understood functions you understood array modules you understood operator so we are covering all the things which are essential for our programming skill set getting a deep down in each of that is a different section altogether but now you know how to work it out in a similar way like just like map and map object there is another thing called as a filter and filter objects so i'm going to rename this um where is that refactor rename map and instead of map and map i'll say map and filter okay map and filter so what we understood was map and map object now we are going to talk in the next video we are going to talk about filter and filter object just let me drag and drop this guy and here we are going to talk about filter and filter objects filter and filter objects so i'm going to close this video now in the next video let's uh, talk about filter and filter objects see you soon thank you